Hey guys, it is Tosh Point Pro. Um, I wanted to do a really quick tutorial on how I define my curls because a couple of you have asked for them. So I made a really short video. Hopefully you like it. Um, of course, if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button so you know when I get new videos. I put out videos every day and my videos are usually either me eating or me vlogging. So here is a vlog slash tutorial. So I put three things in my hair. Um, you're going to need a bottle of water. I got this from the dollar store. And these are perfect because you gotta re-wet your hair usually. And then I have this comb. This is a brush. <laughs> so not a comb. I use this leave-in conditioner. I get this from Walmart. And it's like $5, but this is good stuff. I have coconut oil in an old stained Tupperware. And then I use the Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture. And let me just show you. This video is going to be super quick because I just want to show y'all like what I do. I want to get all wet though. I forgot to grab a towel. So first you're just going to re-wet your hair. One of the reasons that I leave my hair in a bun when I'm not like really going to have my hair out is because it keeps it straight. So after I wash it, I just detangle it. And that, y'all see how easily this is going through. That ain't always how it is. And this brush is great. Like look at the teeth. They like separate. So it moves with your hair. Let's see. Okay. So I basically just section it off. And I start adding product. And I like my hair very wet while I'm doing this because that's what's going to define, that's going to help get the product all stuck. It's going to open up um, your hair follicles so that the product can slide in them. I think it's hair follicles. I haven't made a hair video in so long. Y'all see him? Look. He crazy. Excuse me. You messing up my background. He don't care. So first we do a leave-in conditioner. And I use a good amount. And shout out to my subscribers that requested this video. So now I'm putting in the coconut oil and I literally just like coat my fingers and y'all gotta understand like I have a lot of hair so that's why I use so much product and it really is a guessing game because you don't want to like use way too much and have it just you know soaking off of you dripping off of you but at the same time you have to have enough to actually like bind your hair together. Y'all see how this all this hair transformed with some water and three products. So that last little bit that I put on was the curl enhancing smoothie. Ooh. Oh, oh, no, I got one. There. But yeah, see, it's pretty long. Even though, but you'd never be able to tell because this is like my curls, right? So that's why you want to get it nice and wet. And then I literally just start pulling out hairs, y'all. Like, and this is actually kind of a big chunk for me to work with. So you can even make a smaller chunk. And this is all I do. I like go close to the root and then I just start pulling out pieces of hair because I've already brushed through it to move everything together. And this is what I do over my entire head. And I know people think I'm so crazy. Like you go through each of those curls individually, but like, look how they turn out. So I can do my hair. Okay. Black girl. <laughs> like, I feel like this is a black girl rite of passage. Sitting for a couple hours to get your hair done once a week is like normal. And if you didn't have to do that, you are lucky. Or you might not be lucky because my mom showed it, made sure that I was looking. 
I mean, I wasn't always just the flyest thing on the street, but I never looked dusty, honey. See? And then you have all your definition. And what I've done, actually, um, back here, and I'll go get the scissors so I can show you guys what I've been doing. I've been trimming my hair because it needs it. It's been a while since I've gotten it cut. I don't like how some of the ends of my curls look. So I cut it. And if you do decide to cut it, make sure that you go to uh, like a beauty supply store or Sally's or something and get the proper scissors to cut it with. Because if you don't, you might be using scissors that are just going to give, give you worse split ends. It don't even be that like organized. I literally just be sitting here. <laughs> this is what I do all. And I like when I'm wearing my hair down, I do this every Sunday. See? And then you got your curls. So these are my little shearing scissors. I got them from Sally's for like I asked her for the cheapest pair, I'm gonna be honest. Um and I typically don't get a whole bunch off. Um it's really just piece by piece. Like if I see like this curl, um, no, that one actually looks good. There weren't that many in this section that needed to be cut. This one could be it. trimmed a little bit. This might be the same one I just pulled up. But it's like, I cut off like the very end because I don't like when it gets all scraggly. I don't know if you can see that. I don't like when my ends get scraggly and there's like thick hair and then there's a few strands of thin hair hanging at the bottom. So I do my best to go through all of my curls. See like that one. And it's not even that bad, it's just, cause usually that hair at the very bottom, that's the stuff that gets knotted up, at least for me. Now when this shrinks more, I'll be able to cut it more. But like I said, the shrinkage be real. So I wait before I actually, ooh. I wait before I actually go through and cut everything. Then last piece. I actually had a little battle with myself because I was thinking about just wearing my hair straight to Dallas. But then I was thinking, you know what, natural actually is gonna be a lot easier. Cause with your natural hair you can just throw it up in a ponytail after you're done you can take it down shake it out it'll still look good so for the sake of me getting ready faster <laughs> while i am in dallas let me just do this hair this one time and there you go so yeah i do this in um, typically four sections around my head. I'll split up the pieces a little bit smaller depending on what's going to be easiest for me. But that is how it comes out looking. I will come back and show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. All right, guys. I hope that you liked it. Um, that's pretty much what I do. I do it once a week. And then after that, I do it again the next week. It's really easy because even when you want to go to sleep, you can just put your hair up in a pineapple and fall asleep. Take it down, add a little water and shake it out, and you're good. If you have any questions, make sure that you comment them down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.